Armello wants to be a board game so badly that the developers might as well have just done that anyway. But I'm glad they didn't, because if they did, we wouldn't have this, and this is good. Armello is the name of the kingdom. There is a king of the kingdom. He is a Lion King. He is not the Lion King. He is a Lion King. Uh, you are one of several hopeful kings, sort of like X Factor, but with more fighting. And you can choose your little animal chap, uh, and you set about becoming the king. Because the king is sick, right? He's not very well. He's got the rot. And there are four ways you can overthrow the king. You can just have a combat victory, which is, you know, fighting. Uh, you can have a spirit stone victory where you collect four spirit stones. Uh, you can have a rot victory where you're, you get more plague than the king and then you fight the king. Not sure that one makes sense. And also a prestige victory where you get your prestige level high enough so that when the king dies, you are the de facto king. That's how it works. That's how democracy works in Armello. It is really dedicated to the board game thing. Like you have, well, the Armello kingdom is made up of randomized little hexagons. Are they hexagons? They might be pentagons. Some form of shape. Uh, and you, and they are either swamp, you know, regular land, mountains, which have different effects on your ability to cross them. And it's turn-based, and you take your turn trekking across the land to do various quests, or, you know, leveling up your prestige, getting your fight up, whatever you're going to do. However you're going to take down the king, you work on that. And you get virtual die or dice. Die, dice, which is plural. I think it's dice. You get virtual dice uh, in the battle scenes to roll attacks or defense or spells. And obviously there are randomized cards to draw for items, spells and trickeries and traps and things. Uh, there's also eight playable characters. There tends to be, I think there's like four types of animal and there's a male and female of each animal. And they're a bit like what you'd expect, like the wolves are brave and the bear is angry and big and the rat is sneaky and so forth. And there's quite a long prologue that's a bit boring that takes you through all the mechanics, but it's good that it's there because there are many, there are many mechanics. But once you have had a few games of this, because it is a kind of board game setup in that, like, you know, a game lasts about an hour. There's no, there's no like campaigns or missions there. It's just like, you know, you do your game. Are you the king? Yes, well done. Are you the king? No, try again. Once you get used to all the different tactics and the different play styles of the characters, and the way you can augment those with pickups and things that you earn as you go. It really comes together nicely and it seems a lot less confusing than it does at the start. And I'm a big fan of Armello. I didn't think I would be to begin with. It's got a, a sort of sense of humour that you only really get in the prologue and there's no, you know, it's a, it's a board game. So there's no, you know, character development or anything. But it looks great. Um, the sprites are nice big chunky animals. They look a bit weirdly proportioned in that superhero kind of way. It runs as well as it needs to on Switch. Uh, it's it's been it's a bit choppy in places, and the camera is slightly annoying. Some things get in the way of it a lot, but it's a board game. It's not like a platformer. Time is not of the essence here. If you know, you need to take a few more seconds to figure out what you're doing. My only real bugbear with Armello is a lack of uh, local multiplayer because that's what board games are. Board games are the original local multiplayer, and the Switch is the multiplayer console. If you put something on Switch. You think I've got these con I've got these controllers built onto the system. I'm going to use that. It's going to be great. And I thought it would be a bit like, you know, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, like a nice turn based game. We can have a, a local multiplayer on this, but there's no such option. It's online multiplayer only. And that's a shame, but it's not enough to take the shine off on Mello, which has been around for a few years now already. This is just the recent Switch port uh, and it's a really enjoyable game. I'd like to give it an eight out of ten. If you'd like a bit of a longer read and some more detail, if you go to nextgenbase.com, uh, that's our website. There's a whole written review on there. It's like, you know, there's at least a thousand words, maybe more. I haven't counted them. Uh, but thanks for watching and listening. Uh, this has been Next Gen Base. I just said that, saying it again. Next Gen Base, Next Gen Base. Uh, bye. <laughs>